Good evening. The greatest criminal in history was, of course, McCavity. And I don't mean the one from Cats. I'm talking about my old East End mate, McCavity. He got the nickname from the way he smuggled his mobile phone into prison. Joining me tonight are these contestants. On my right, Niall Jones, an English student who was once involved in the accidental sinking of a boat during a school trip to the Isle of Wight. Lorna Frankel, a keen viola player who learned balloon modelling for a talent show. And their captain, Steve Barnes, a trainee teacher who burned his finger an hour before attending an African drumming workshop. United by a weakness for wandering, they are the Ramblers. Steve, are you the captain because you have the most natural authority or because you're best at the missing bells? Um, I think it's probably more authority through the teaching side of things, so I can keep these two in check when they misbehave, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I look forward to watching that in action. <laughs> Good luck this evening. You are playing on my left. Jill Taylor, a charity worker who bumped into the England football player John Barnes buying gravy granules in his local supermarket. Beverly Randall, a retired lecturer who owns a hair mosaic, a hair tapestry, a five-foot hair from the Cotswold Hair Trail and a large cardboard hair. And their captain, Chris Macklin, a school science technician who has tried and failed to learn 15 languages. United by a knack for knitting, they are the wool gatherers. Chris, do you knit for practical reasons to have things to wear or to sort of quiet the restless soul? Quiet the restless soul. So I'm, I'm not very good. I've got, I've got jumpers that are lopsided and scarves that are just way too long to be practical. Well, I have too, and I paid for them, so you're, you're a step <laughs> ahead. Jill, is it your birthday today? Yes, it is. Happy birthday. Thank you. And what's the worst birthday you've had before now? I can't think of another terrible birthday. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what we can do to make it festive. Thank you. The, the music question should cheer things right yes. up. Yes, oh, good. So, wool gatherers, you won the toss, but you've elected to put your opponents in first. You're up, Ramblers. Which hieroglyph would you like? Uh, can we have the water, please? Sorry. Yes, you could. What is the connection between these apparently random clues Here's the first. Right, roulette wheel. So the colours, the numbers. Yeah, we'll go next. Yeah. Uh, next clue, please. Do you know any shoes? It's pasta, isn't it? Yeah, that is yeah. pasta. Do we know Can they come with colours as well? They, they, they I don't know. Colored. I don't think so. Should we go? OK, next one. Uh, next, please. It's it's really really cut. Cut. Is in cut. Is it? Is the word on the right derived from part of the word on the left in that language? Oh. Oh, That sounds yeah, good. Okay. Do you want to go for that? What, do you want to try one, one more? Go for another one. Uh, try one more. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah. it is, yeah. So, uh, the word on the right in a language means part of the word on the left. And I think the word on the left means the little version of that word on the right. That's exactly what it is. It is diminutive versions of those words. Roulette is a little wheel in French. Cannoli, little tubes, because the word for tubes is canna. Mm -hmm. Mozza is cut in Italian and burro is a donkey in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Wool gatherers, what would you like? Uh, haunted viper, please. OK, what is the connection between these picture clues? Here's the first. No. Next, please. Oh. Any idea? I do not. Do no. Next, please. Well, they're chains. 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 Could be measurements. Um, oh, could it be measurements? Chains, I mean, isn't a cricket pitch is a certain number of chains? Be okay. Yes, go. Next, please. Cheetah. They all begin with CH. They do not all begin with CH. Ramblers, you've got the chance of a bonus point. Um, Go with um, links. Links? Well, obviously, there are links between all the clues in this programme. Indeed, there are. <laughs> not the answer, I'm afraid, though. You're closer. You are right. That third picture is not supposed to mean chain, but links. Mm -hmm. You um, know the fourth one is cheetah. Mm -hmm. What might it be? Cats. Cats. Oh. Who might be at clue two? It's the band Def Leppard. Oh, and the first one is the cricketer Nathan Lyon. So they're all okay. homophones for big cats. So no points there, but Ramblers, you may choose your own question. What's it to be? Uh, could we have the Twisted Flax, please? Yes, you could. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. 
Yeah. Is this the whole DNA thing? How much of the DNA we share with that thing? Oh, okay. uh, I don't know. Should we go next? Yeah. Next clue, please. Fruit fly. I'm certainly closer. Yeah. What do you think? Do you want me to take another one? Because I don't uh, know anything. I mean, Drosophila is a fruit fly, right? Yeah. yeah. Melanogaster. Uh, next clue, please. 80%. I don't know. Sure. Do you it think it's the percentage of DNA that we share with that creature or with that organism? Do you want me to go for it or take another? Um, just, I think just go for it. Okay. Is this um, the approximate percentage of DNA we share with the organism in each clue? Bizarrely, yes. Ooh. And the last would be chimpanzee, 96%. Mm. I don't really understand it at all. How could we share 41% of our genetic material with banana? Do you understand that? Um, yeah. um, I guess it's all just, just carbon, nitrogen and other atoms bonded together in a random way that's quite similar. But it's a banana. I mean, I've met people that I can believe share 41% of their material with a banana. Got a lot of appeal. I do. Oh. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I do know that uh, the geneticists at the University of Leicester printed out the whole sequence of the, of the human mm. genome and they said it would take 95 years to read it. <laughs> Wool gatherers, what would you like? Um, Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Specific. No. What could it be? Any particular comment? Could I hear something? Hear something? Uh, Next, please. Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic, Mr. Fox. I don't think the comet was called fantastic, though. <laughs> Next, please. Might be, might be Sorry? Might be fantastic, might it? Next, please. Tail does. They tail does. They don't have a tail. They do not have a tail. What do you know about these clues? Well, I see comets normally have tails, and see 2014 S3 didn't. He didn't very unusually. I don't know if it's the only one, but comets usually would have a tail. And um, Manx cats, famously, don't have tails. The others, I'm not sure. A strong batting lineup. It's said to have no tail, as in there's no weakness at the back. Mr. Fox, do you know what that is? Presumably, he loses his tail. It's in the Roald Dahl story, and the tail gets shot off by a oh. farmer. Ramblers, what will you have next? Uh, could we take the lion, please? Yes, you could. Mm -hmm. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Right, Jack. Anything uh, we know about those three? Yeah, she's an actress. Yeah, she's an actress first. Right, next clue, please. I mean, it's Mateo Pontus. I don't know. Uh, Are they, they name something? Uh, maybe, um, but I don't know who the first two no, are. No, only reckon it's Mateo Pontus. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Next clue, please. Dwayne Johnson. I mean, they all have the same the rock. nickname. Is this a, is this a family tree? Is one the mother or the, uh, the parent of the next one? Because Dwayne Johnson's oh, it probably could be. rocky. I'll go next anyway. Yeah, next, please. Oh, oh next. Do we know well, Grant Shapps is a MP. Yeah, yeah. Do you know anything else? Two seconds. What do you think? So they all have the same nickname. They all have yeah. the same nickname. They do not all have the same nickname. Wool gatherers, do you want to have a go for a bonus Sorry. point? Succeeded each other. Maybe. Did they succeed each other? In a way, yes, but I can't take it. Your answer is almost the opposite of the truth. Oh, yeah. They are all the same person. Ah, oh, OK. Joan yeah. Crawford went by previous names, Billy Cassin, mm. and Lucille Faylasur was her birth name. Mm. Pocahontas was Amanute when she was little mm. and then Matoka and then became Pocahontas. Uh, Dwayne Johnson, <laughs> <laughs> now known as The Rock, Mm -hmm. uh, Johnson the Rock is a name that's a, a tragic loss to pornography, I think, but <laughs> <laughs> various names he used in, in wrestling. And Grant Shapps, the politician, do you not remember that story? It, 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 it came know. out that he, he'd run a website which was giving advice from a pair of successful businessmen, Michael Green and Sebastian Fox, and they were both <laughs> him. <laughs> I don't think he is a successful businessman. Wow, um, wow. But they were both him, and uh, people thought that was a bit naughty. Do you know, I asked our question editors, uh, Mr Whaley Cohen and Mr McGacky, what they thought of that. They thought it was absolutely terrible. I mean, they ran in and out of the room at different times, shouting about how strongly they disapproved. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you, wool gatherers, for the last question of the round. The two reads. Happy birthday. <laughs> what is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next 
please. Seven, six. Really? No, sir. Weather. Not it, I'm afraid. Ramblers, do you know? Um, <coughs> books of the Bible. Which one are you thinking of? Well, I, I, maybe two was Genesis, mm. or it might have just been Phil. Oh, yes, good, it was Genesis. Genesis, Land of Confusion. Mm. The first track, Wilson Pickett, Land of a Thousand Dances. Oh. oh. The third one, I had to restrain myself from standing up so I didn't risk giving you an extra clue. Land of my father's, of course, the great Welsh national anthem. The crew was so excited. One of them put his cigarettes away. And the land of make-believe was the last clue for Buck's Fizz. All lands. Nobody got that one. That means at the end of round one, the wool gatherers have one point, the ramblers have three. Round two now, the sequences round. What comes forth in a sequence? Ramblers, you'll be going first again. What would you like? Uh, could I have the Eye of Horus, please? Yes, you could. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. OK, don't so remember. So it has this? both the names. OK, what we'll yeah. go next anyway. Uh, next clue, please. True. So, that's... so is it to a city sizes? I or... don't know. But why would that be? I don't What's know. What's the fourth in this? Should I go? Uh, well, it's one Northern, one Northern one Ireland, place, England. Yeah. Uh, next, know. please. Norwich. It could be to a cathedral, but I don't know. Wow, well, true. It's got one. Idea. Yeah. What? What? It's going to be. It's Norwich for two. I don't know. Well, I don't think so. What's a city uh, that's got three cathedrals? Because I go for that. I, I would guess oh. London. London. Probably. Probably. Okay. Well, I'll go for it's that. It's got Southwark. Yeah, yeah, just got Westminster. London. Very much not the answer. Although perhaps you have an alternative sequence. Why do you say London? Um, it may well be the number of cathedrals in each city from zero up to three. But it probably isn't. <laughs> Norwich in second place. You never know. I you mean, never it might know. Be very devout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid that's not the answer. Wool gatherers, do you know? Inverness. Inverness. Is the right answer. Yeah. And why? Most northerly. Cathedral? It is to do with cardinal points. Weirdly, we're going anti-clockwise round the compass and Derry is the westernmost city in the UK, oh, yeah. Derry or Londonderry, and then the southernmost is Truro, easternmost is Norwich, northernmost in Venice. Well done. And you may have your own question. Which will it be? Um, Haunted Viper, please. OK, what would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Mm. Okay. So. No, Next, please. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats. Weaknesses. Not the answer, I'm afraid. Ramblers, do you know? A word that's got four consecutive consonants in it. Is what I'm looking for. Can you give me an example? Hitchhike, hitchhike word? Is that oh, yeah. one? Is there two H's in the middle of yes. it? Yes. Yeah. Hitchhike is a good one. <laughs> Some people would use a hyphen. Hitch we just mm. went with length. Oh, oh yeah, okay. that's but that's Yes, that's we're that's looking smart. at words with seven consecutive consonants, mm. then six, then five. We need something with four consecutive mm. consonants. What is Hirsprung, do you know? No. no. Probably German. Actually, Danish. Oh, Hirsprung's okay. disease is a bowel disease in children discovered by the Danish paediatrician of the 19th century, Harold Hirsprung, who I think was a rather wonderful. Think about him. The Queen wanted there to be biblical quotes on the walls of the hospital, and he said, no, they should be pictures of animals. Mm. And I, f I find that an oddly moving thing. I genuinely do find that moving. Mm. He was a children's doctor and he said they should have animals on the wall. Well done. You get the bonus point and your own question. What's it to be? Uh, could we go for the water, please? Yes, you could. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Right, a long way down. down. I I is, that that. is that a film or a book? I don't know. It could be. A, it rings Next clue, please. Sure. How, How to, to be, be good. good. What's that? I feel like these are books. Yeah, no, I don't. They sound like autobiographies. They sound yeah. like that. Should I go for another one? 
Next clue, please. Oh, a long way down is the... Um, Who wrote Battle Boy? Uh, that's Nick Hornby. So a long way down is um, Ewan McGregor and Charlie Borman's Through Africa. Yeah, but what is... I don't know what the sequence is. About a boy. Is it? What's about a boy? It's um, Nick Hornby book and film. Do you know Nick Hornby, another Nick Hornby book? Uh, that you can name? High Fidelity. fidelity. Oh, go, for that. Go, for that. go for that. Uh, high Fidelity? Is the right answer. <laughs> well done. <laughs> and why? Um, I'm not totally sure. I, I think Steve Tom would say it. Um, uh, sort of about sort of Nick, Nick Hornby. Hornby. <laughs> <laughs> there are novels by Nick Hornby going backwards in order of publication oh. to High Fidelity. <laughs> Wall gatherers, what would you like? Uh, the lion, please. Lion. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. So adding one from Canada. Next, please. Change their name. Next, please. Um, eight, remove Russia equals seven. Is the right answer. Very well done. And what is the sequence? It's the G6, G7. Exactly so. The G6 to begin with added Canada to make seven. And why, when you add EU, is it still seven? Because the EU is not a country. Because there weren't extra countries, the same number of nations. And then Russia came in and went out again. So it's back to seven. Well done. Ramblers, what would you like? Uh, the two reeds, please. OK, two reeds. These are going to be picture clues. What would you expect to see? In the fourth picture, here's the first. I don't, I don't know who that is. Is that a clarinet or a saxophone? It's a musical oh. instrument. Yeah. Next. Okay. Next clue, please. It's, uh, What's that, that? Flash or no, it's not, it's hand. Just, it looks it's like just a hand. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know what that's anyway, called. Uh, next, please. Oh, the so two. particularly the two of spades. Oh, this is terrible um, for us, isn't it? Yeah. There's one thing we didn't want to happen. Oh, well. <laughs> um, um, something hand two. Oh, do yeah. you know? No, no, no I don't know. But hand two makes sense. Yeah, but what's the first? Just say something that ends in unk. Yeah. I think it ends in unk. Yeah. Bunk. <laughs> You thinking that's Thelonious Monk? Uh, not I particularly, know. really. <laughs> I know he played the piano, so it doesn't really make much sense. Uh, something ending in unk is not the right answer, I'm afraid. Wall <laughs> gatherers, do you know? Uh, a picture of an advantage, something an advantage. Uh, no, it's a picture of George Bush. I tell you who that is at clue one. It's Charlie Parker, known as Bird. A bird in this the is hand. suggesting the sequence a bird in the hand oh, is worth two, two in, the in the bush. I think the problem is very hard to think of hand. What I'm assuming you're thinking is, what a magnificent deuce to seven hand. It's a nut low, of course. <laughs> and uh, for any Chinese poker players who like to play deuce to seven in the middle, what a beautiful thing. Two, three, four, five, seven. Pat, imagine being dealt that. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? But here, it just means a hand. Bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Back to you, wool gatherers, for the last question of the round, the twisted flax. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Oh, Pete, please, Bob. Pete, please, Bob. Mm -hmm. so, I don't know. Next, us that way. Next, please. Oh, you'd have to say Pete, please, Bob. It's you know? surnames, isn't it? So it's... Oh, Simon Mayo, Lisa Tarbuck. Oh, what did they want to do? Michael Osborne. They were on Radio 2 or something. Oh, they came after him. Oh. So, H, please, Bob. Is the right answer. And why? Um, I'm not sure what they presented, but you got Bob Holness, so H is Bob's surname. That's amazing. You, you know that Bob Holness said H, but you don't know what they presented. Or oh, blockbusters. Of course, blockbusters. <laughs> We're looking at blockbusters hosts going backwards. Simon Mayo, before him, Lisa Tarbuck before her Michael Aspel and the original great Bob Holness. And people would say, I'll have an H, please, Bob. Well done. That means at the end of round two, the wool gatherers have six points, the ramblers have six points. <laughs> Connecting wool time now, and wool gatherers, you'll be going first, so please choose lion or water. Water, please. Water. You have two and a half minutes to solve this wall, starting now. 
Generation X, X-Men, there are names for the devil, old man, Satan, Cluthu, well, Baal, hang on, you've got quite a few gods And we've here. got some professors and you too. Got, yeah. Yeah, professor, professor Plum, Professor X, Professor... Professor Brainstorm. Brainstorm. And Green. Right, okay. Yeah, Leighton. Green. Might oh, be. yeah, Professor Leighton. So I miss out Green. Leighton. Okay. Anyways. Right, you've got Kasulu, Ball. And there are river ones. Kakia. It's a little Kakia. Yeah. yeah. Right. Moloch, you've got Moloch. Moloch. Yeah. So, so I miss out Kakia. Miss out Satan. Miss out Ball. Old Man. Okay. Right. Lives now. We've got rivers. Um, there's Old Man River, Moon River, Lazy River, I think, but I'd be careful, and Deep River, which would leave us Green, Copper, Barl and Neighbour. Well, they've all got double uh, vowels. Ah, that... if we leave... Ah, OK, yeah. Neighbour yeah, so River. That would be Lazy and Neighbour, then, for that group. Give it a whirl. No. <laughs> right. Well, moon on moon Double as well. seems a bit... I, yeah, I think we've got old Moon River, Old Man River. But well, Moon's got a double vowels as well, so it might be another... Yeah. But so um, is Cooper. Oh, right. Well, let's try Lazy, Old Man, Deep and... Cooper. Green River? Give it a whirl. I think Green River might make more sense. Green River, you can try. I don't know Green River. You've solved the wall. Very well done. What about the connections? Plum, X and so on? Uh, professors. They are professors. Professor Plum from Cluedo, Professor X from the X-Men, Professor Brainstorm, of course. And uh, who's Professor Layton? The game person. From a video game. And the next group starting, Satan. Uh, demons, dark. Rulers of the underworld. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah general wrong yeah. I'll take that. And the next group, green, old man, lazy and deep. Followed by river. Followed by, followed by river. I need to hear something else. Songs. To make a song. And the last group, moon and so on. They all, all have double vowels in. I'm afraid they, they don't, don't, because look at neighbour. What they have is animal sounds at the beginning. Oh. Moo, oh. ba, coo, nay, at the beginning. But you solved the wall and gave me three connections, so that is a total of seven points. Let's bring in their opponents now and give them the other wall, the lion wall, and see how they get on. You have got two and a half minutes as well, Ramblers, starting now. Right, so, OK. Yeah, yeah, just quickly as Shakespeare. Right. Oh, so Hal is from um, Henry IV, mm -hmm. part What else is there? Fox Fox They're from, yeah, Henry IV, part so... one. Oh, so it's going to be that that's out there. So yeah. do you want me to go for Hotspur? Hotspur. Quickly, Falstaff Hal. and... Have you tried Hal? Hal? OK, cool. Right, so, so we can take a bit of time. Three lives uh, now, plenty of time. Stardust. Um, What's no. Joy, J-O-Y? Do we know? Joy, no. Um, it's one letter after fish. Um, it is. Are any of the others? I don't oh, know. Don't think so. Uh, Condeed is... Tuberculosis could be TB. Yeah, you can also even brief it down. Um, just don't know, Samantha. What, well, what else is tuberculosis going to be? Is it, is it a word one that begins with tube? Candid Jarvis con, is begins a... with can. Jarvis begins with jar. Oh, yeah. And oh, potential can. begins with pot. So yes. what's Jarvis, Holly, uh, tough, Ziggy maybe. and Joy? Oh, yeah. Those four. Um, no, not Jarvis, sorry. Um, Samantha. Samantha, something. Holly, Ziggy and Joy. Um, um, is that like a children's thing, is it? Like um, the, tele the um, tweenies or anything? Ziggy. No. Ziggy. Oh, this is going to be one of those things. All like a nick of his stardust. Don't know, is it? They're not... Joy, Samantha. Wow. Well, they don't all have boys' names in them, do they? Uh, Ollie. Holly. Well, Ollie, Icky. Sam, but I don't know about the other two. Well, Icky, <laughs> You've got a minute Joe. left. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Maybe. You could try that. It's better than nothing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, do we have anything? Because... No. I mean, it's going to be these three, isn't it? And then yeah. the fourth. Well, but I think you're right. Um, they bond. Yeah. Anything right. to do with Bond? Um, see, that Ziggy should be a real giveaway. Yeah. I mean, go for potential, because we're running out of time now. Yeah, you want me to just go for just it? Just in case. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want yeah. me to say for that fourth one? 30 uh, seconds. Bond Trains. girls or try, boys' names? Try, uh, boys names try the boys' names. Oh, it's going to be a disaster, but let's go for right. it. <laughs> cool. You've solved the wall. Very well done. What about the connections? Athletic, Rangers, United, Orient. So those are parts of the names of football clubs. They're suffixes for football clubs. And the next group, starting Hotspur. 
So these are all characters in Henry, Henry the Fourth, Fourth Part One, I think. Part They're one. in Henry the Fourth Part One. Mm -hmm. And the next group, Jarvis, Condeed, and so on. So these all begin with words that mean a receptacle. So they start jar, with... can, tube and pot. Oh yes, I suppose it is tube. Jar, can, pot. tub or tube oh, okay, and pot. Yeah. They start with receptacles. And the last group, Holly, Ziggy, Samantha, Joy. Uh, yeah, so um, these are all Bond girls. No, they're mm. artificial intelligences. Holly oh. is the computer in Red Dwarf. Ziggy, okay. the supercomputer in Quantum Leap. Samantha is from that uh, Scarlett Johansson mm. film, Her, mm -hmm. and Joy from Blade Runner. But you did solve the wall and you gave me three connecting points, so that is a total of seven. Let's have a look at the overall scores. The Ramblers have 13 points, the Wall Gatherers have 13 points. So this is a nice close one, isn't it? We'll play a tense round four. Fingers on buzzers teams. I can tell you that the first group of disguised clues all have five lines. Ramblers. Limerick. Correct. Wool gatherers. Knock, knock. Not it, I'm afraid. Ramblers, do you know? Knock, 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 knock joke. joke. That's right, you're missing the last two consonants. Next clue. Don't know this one. It's musical stave. Next clue. Ramblers. Pentagon. Correct. The next category are not trees. Ramblers. Rowan Atkinson. Well done. Will gatherers. Spinal cord. I'm afraid you've got the consonants in the wrong order. Ramblers, do you know? It's horrible because there's a comma. Aspen, Colorado. Next clue. Wool gatherers. Ash Wednesday. Correct. Wool gatherers. Pinewood Studios. Well done. Next category. Countries and operas set there. Ramblers. Switzerland and William Tell. Yes, it is. Ramblers. France and La Traviata. Correct. It's the end of the quiz and looking at the final scores. After an excellent round four, the winners with 19 points straight through to the next round, it's the Ramblers. Very well done, very well played. Wall gatherers, you finished with 13. You fell behind a bit in the missing vowels, but an excellent first few rounds. You were neck and neck. I look forward to seeing your next performance later in the competition. Bye-bye, everyone at home. You can go to bed now. Don't worry about what's on next. You need the sleep. Honestly, you'll thank me tomorrow. Good night.